Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh my gosh, I have a great message for you and hopefully it's a little shorter than the other ones, but it is a good one. It is a good one. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share my videos with everybody, especially those that are married and in relationships. You know, definitely let them know, let them in on this information and definitely subscribe. So the title of my message is, are you ready for marriage? Are you ready for marriage? Well, let's find out. Of course, you know, I'm Lanisa King and I bring you strategies and keys and nuggets uh, from the word of God and other tools and things that I've learned in my marriage, my experiences with my husband, Jeff, uh, to help you in your marriage. And so we talk about uh, lack of trust or uh, lack of commitment, lack of com communication. We talk about things like abuse and traumas and infidelity and all sorts of generational curses, things that could cause a marriage to go upside down and you, you don't even understand why uh, you're doing the things that you do. And so we talk about generational curses and what that means and how they, how do these curses begin? How do they start and how they affect marriage? And so we talk about all these things and we root out these principalities and powers. We uproot them so that you are not struggling anymore and that you begin to enjoy a passionate relationship with your husband and just have a wonderful time together serving God, doing what God has called you to do. And so guys, we're going to go right into the message. Of course, you know that King's Sound Mind Services is the name of my business and I am a relationship coach as well as a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so those two work um, hand in hand with each other in my business. And so honestly, we reach down deep to find out what truly is going on to help you solve problems and issues in your marriage. And so have you ever thought about these things that you need in order to prepare yourself for marriage? How do you know if you are ready, how do you know if you are ready for marriage? I recently wrote a small book, you guys, that is going to be a downloadable and it's going to be free to you probably um, in the next around September the 20th. I believe that's the time that I'm going to have that book uh, finished with. It's the cover, the front cover, back cover, and that kind of thing, and it edited and all that. I wanted to give it to you free, all right? And probably it will be free for the next two months, like in, in that month that it's released in September and in October, maybe in, um, yeah, yeah, something like that, those two months. And so it is a book that's titled, Are You Ready for Marriage? Are you ready for marriage? It's for couples. It's about 10 questions uh, that's in there that you should honestly be able to answer and know about the person that you are looking at for marriage. And so guys, today I will discuss three, three of those questions from that book as well, um, so that you already have a heads up on what is in there, what type of information is in there. And so, does this person that you are dating, guys, have the same values, the same principles, the same things that you believe in? Do they believe in? Okay, and this is without compromise. You will not compromise these things for anything. This is what you stand by. This is what you build your foundation upon and all of that. And so you want to be in, a, in agreement with this person that, you know, these are the things that, you know, hold you two together as far as what you believe in your integrity and your character and your morals and all those things. This is a very, very important question because it also teaches you how you'll be raising your children as well. And so the second question deals with, um, am I dealing with a whole person, a whole person or a fragmented heart? Okay. A person that uh, has 
trauma going on in their mind, will, emotions, uh, due to a betrayal, a rape, a trauma, something happened to them that they're dealing with, they're struggling with, and you find that they're easily angered or they're easily upset or something that you say triggers them and it causes them to shut down or cry or something's going on. Does this person or is this person dealing with some sort of trauma that's causing them to not be whole at this time? And so you wanna know this information, right? And then, so the last question is, are you dealing with a soul tie, an ungodly soul tie at that concerning your life or your, the person that you're looking at uh, to be with? And so you wanna make sure that this is not going on because that person is still connected to another relationship. That person is still connected to um, the, the person that hurt them, and but they still probably wanna call them, but they still probably wanna see them and all this stuff. You want to make sure that that's not going on in that person's heart, and if so, there's a way to bring deliverance to each of these situations, each of these scenarios that I gave you. And so a lot of that is called premarital counseling that uh, Jeff and I can do with you and make sure that we are dealing with soul ties, that we are dealing with any type of type of fragmented heart, right? Um, emotions, you know, that are out of whack and cause a, a things that uh, go on with a person that shouldn't go on with a person, you know, anger issues, and you're not able to communicate correctly, you know, about how you feel and that sort of thing. The last one was the morals, values, your integrity, and that kind of thing. So we want to make sure that uh, you cover these things and you know this information about the person that you're dating. And of course, there's so, so much more that you can go into. That's why I told you this book comes with 10 questions to ask yourself and the person that you're dating, uh, whether or not you guys are ready for marriage. There's so many more uh, questions that you can ask, you guys. And so, uh, love, you guys, I want to leave you with this. Love does not sustain a marriage, but it is commitment. It's decision, a decision to be married. Many have divorced, and they still love their ex-husbands or wives. Uh, what you need to do to hold a marriage together is to have wisdom, knowledge and understanding about your spouse, about your marriage, about the purpose of marriage, about the creator who created marriage, okay? So you definitely need to learn how to get wisdom, how to get knowledge and understanding from the word of God. And so this is what I wanted to cover on today. I love you guys so, so much. I want you to know that you should be visiting LanisaKing.com, my website, to find out more information about what I am doing because I've been so busy. None of you guys really know, but uh, yes, writing books, writing books, courses on Think Ethic. I do my uh, marriage university courses there on Think Ethic and uh, writing books. I've written uh, four books, editing all of them except for one. One is completed. I'm just looking for a publisher. Uh, so, yeah, so that's where we are. That's where I'm, what I'm doing. So, guys, I love you. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, don't forget, again, to subscribe and like. That is how the channel grows. That's how more people find out about what I'm doing as far as teaching them. They're looking for information on marriage, and I'm teaching people how to have a successful marriage, how to build their marriage, uh, making sure that there are no issues and things going on that are hiding. So make sure you're tuning in to the channel, learning as much as you can learn. And then when those books are ready to come out, I will let you know, definitely let you know. If you are interested in becoming a client of mine and my husband's at uh, King Sound Mind Services, 
please go to my website and fill out a little form at the bottom uh, to let me know who you are and phone number so we can get in contact with you and set up an appointment, your first free appointment for consultation, and then take it from there. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.